sticking up right there. Is that some type of sledgehammer? No, I need a big sledgehammer, I think. Okay. Good morning, boss. Good morning. What do I need a big sledgehammer for? Wait till you guys see this. Hopefully we didn't get in too deep with this, no. <laughs> we know what we're doing, I think. Yeah, I it's think. it's a little more of a project than we thought we were going to have to do. Yeah, it, it it's not just a fix the erosion type problem anymore. Like, we realize that, well, you guys will see when yeah, we get you'll there. You'll see when we get there. So this is our next new project for the week. Mm -hmm. And we are hoping we can finish it before this snowstorm i know um we're supposed to they're saying it's been four to six inches so far yeah and we actually might make a couple clients um angry because we still have prunings to do which we should have been doing this week but this is kind of an emergency yeah it's we need eroding it the foundation now. and if it keeps on going and we keep getting big storms it's only gonna they're gonna have more leakage damage. problems so yeah we have to get it done yeah but so but go. it is what it is let's go then i'm gonna be destroying this concrete pad here because as you can see it's supposed to be all the way up to that line there see how the steps are sunk all the erosions wash this out so I'm gonna remove the pad and then we are going to taper this this way. So this comes this way and we're gonna put a catch basin here to catch all the water. And then the patio is gonna come right up to here and then we're gonna put, build it, well, I'm probably gonna make it a little bit higher. We're gonna build um, rock from the patio that way to swell the water along here. And we're gonna put a, river rock bed coming right here the water to flow down here and then we're going to take the drain pipe as a backup so the water will come down into there drain through a pipe down underneath where the steps are out over there Eight i'll bring inches. i'll bring the river bed right this way too yeah, not between the steps you're just gonna have to make sure you leave like 48 inches for you to get back here to oh yeah oh you'll have plenty if anything we'll move this so, okay, so we're going to go ahead and start doing this. Rachel's going to clean this up because we're going to make the bed, rock bed go kind of curve this yeah. way to kind of try to stop the water to come collect in here. Yeah. Hello. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> we'll get it. You'll have a nice little patio here, and then all this will be rock under yeah. here, so... You can stay with here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just gonna pull it all out. And pull it. it all out and redo it. Fix yeah. it all. This is water no to go inside. Yep. Yeah. No down. Water go outside. Yeah. Yep. So that's why we got this and that and so we'll fix it yeah, up. Yeah, this is number one. Good. Yeah, because yeah. we're not oh thank you. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> Let's try this again. I don't know, my phone has a mind on the phone. I'm trying to get this cleaned up. And it keeps on going up and up. But we're making progress. Yeah. So we're going to try to keep the steps on. We're just going to prop them up and build under. Yeah. And then set them back down. They got so well, many Well, and just reinforce and when reinforce. we're done. Okay. Yeah. They have so many screws and nails in it. We Not did. We did take into account that we might have to replace some of the wood. But yeah. I think it's going to be better to just replace. No. But bolts and nuts right yeah. then to replace the wood so I think that that was their way to try to fix it no it's not right oh you know what you have a rock I can use to stick under here I have because it will break easier right hopefully that's the thing Whew. Here's the work. jackhammer yeah it would have been much easier with a jackhammer. Oh my gosh, I don't even think we're gonna roll this. 
Lift with your legs, buddy. Oh, great. It's heavy. Man. Yeah, it is. Okay. I gotta try to pull this. Good, right? Yeah. Oh man, it got cold out here, didn't it? Yeah, it got cold. You get sweaty and then you get chilly. Oh, and that breeze definitely does that. Uh, Where were you sitting originally? I was thinking right here. Right? Yeah. Put it right there. And then taper this. Yeah. Down this way. And make it all swell right in here. And this, we still gonna have to. Where build. are we gonna start the rock from? Just not on that the... close. Probably, probably right before the middle. Okay. Probably like from just like this. All right. All right. And then this will be kind of. Okay, so as you guys can see, we got the concrete busted out. We just have to load it up. Um, we have to dig all this out to be able to put um, road bond in, and we're gonna go pretty deep with it and bring it pretty high up and tamp it all down. And all the dirt we're gonna backfill into there. So it's like this instead of like this. Um, we're gonna put this catch basin right here. We're gonna backfill the house to come to the catch basin. And then this is going to slope down this way. So everything will be sloped into a, a swell that I'm going to create here. You can see the natural way it comes. It usually comes right down here along the house. But we're going to fill this in so we can direct the water right into that drain and where the river rock starts. And we are putting a drain and a river rock bed for any overload of rain. Because that's where it's all coming from, where we get heavy downpours. It's all coming off of here and running down here and you can see the natural swell so i'm going to get to digging that and messing around with this and then we'll probably go home and take a break after that mm -hmm. we have until storm comes friday to finish this this is a 12 inch by 12 inch catch basin we're using and we're going to plug up the one side so the water will all come in here and rush down there so let's got to get this done Okay, I got that dug out. I'm trying to do my best I can. This gimbal, for some reason, keeps on, has a mind of its own. I don't know why it won't stay down and actually record what I'm doing. So that's where my line's going to go, but Rachel was telling me the reason we're fixing this whole thing, the reason we're fixing this whole thing is right here. Oh, there is a concrete slab there. Yeah. Look at how much I dug down, you guys. Yeah, so All that... of this wash. So how far do you want me to... Dig off... You got to dig out the whole concrete slab. I know that, but, like, what do I do with this? We're going to take that all down. So that all has to be graded That out all too? has to be put back over there. This all came over there. So whatever you dig out, just put back over there. Yeah. We need to bring the wheelbarrow back. Yeah, well, we're going to go take a break after I'm done doing this okay. trench. I'm trenching this out. It's just cold and windy out here. That's the hardest part. Okay, so now right here, I only got to bury it maybe two inches, three inches, four. Now I'm going to go four inches deep and then cover this with four inches of dirt. Um, but that means that I have to dig right here, about 12 inches. I'm going down to the bottom there, and we're going to dig to come out. This here, I'm going to dig this out so it's like a swale here. So everything directs into this drain off the house. There'll be a little swale here to the porch. The 
the patio is actually coming all the way up to that line there so we won't have too much too bad here and then run the pipe out there then swell all that So we're back, guys. It's getting cold out. It's 44 out. Um, thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. The phone told her thank, thank you, you again. Again, it told her that. But we're back out here. Um, it has been sprinkling on and off. You've seen that. Yeah. So we're going to come back out here and we're going to bury the drain pipe and put the drop basin in, bury the drain pipe, level it out a little bit, and probably call it a day because it's getting chilly. Yeah. Um, and they are calling for 6.7 inches of snow now. Yeah, it keeps going up and down. Up and, up down, and down, up and down. And the old timers, when I was in Ace, um, the lady at the counter said all the old old timers, the people that are like, are generations ahead ahead of us, right? Mm -hmm. um, they've been coming in saying that they think they're wrong about this storm and they think there's going to be a lot more snow. Yeah, so people that have lived here for yeah. years and years and years and um, they're coming in saying that this think this is going to be a big one so, so you guys stay tuned because we are definitely having fun in the snow yeah well and i have it all planned out i mean already. we well the first year we moved here in 2010 we had tons of snow like tons of snow so i can only imagine what they got years and years and years ago um and yeah they i must hope know you something. like snow because i think it's going to be a snowy january i mean no i don't like snow i like to stay inside when it snows Carl likes oh, you're coming down my ramp. So let's go get this okay. done. So we're back here. We're going to go ahead and set this pipe in um, and set this catch base in. Boss is going to town digging the hole for the road behind down there. Good work. Good work, man. She's the best helper I've ever worked with in all my working. Um, but if you see back here, we got the drain in. So all we got to do is put the cover in. I'm going to lift it up a little bit so we can slide some fabric under the edge there. 
um, and then Rachel will be able to start putting all the river rock down eventually. But we got to bring road bond first, dig this out, level it out, and then fill it in. With, probably, we're going to probably go about six inches up with the road bond. Yeah, so I'm, you're pro I probably dug down enough now. You probably just need yeah. to grade it. Just scrape it out, grade point, it and everything. Yeah. And then we're going to fill it up. All the, I'm going to get a block and measure it because I have them at home. I have a couple blocks left over from the one patio. Oh. So I can measure from the line down to where we have to have grade. Oh, okay. um, because we have to go by the steps. It can be a little bit higher if we got to lift the steps up just a little bit. That's, that's fine, but... Okay, so we're going to get loaded up and get on out of here. Um, I think we did pretty good. Rachel says I misjudged time. But we'll see, guys, in the end what we ended up. We'll tell you what we charged and if we made our time, right? Yeah. This is the only, the second patio we've ever done. Yeah. And we've never done drainage this big this that in depth yeah so yeah, this is a big this is big drainage but yeah. there was like a big problem so yeah you guys seen yeah it needed to be fixed so it will be nice yeah yeah so and even if we don't make our time this time we're learning yeah um you know obviously if you had bit better equipment to do this type type of stuff all the time but we're not going to invest in that equipment because we're not using it all no the time. So, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please yeah. like, comment, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try, guys. Have a good night. Have a good night.